Hi there, and you're very welcome to our student spotlight here. Uh, today we're speaking to Princess Wilson, who is speaking to us from Cork today. Yes, hi, hello everyone from Cork. <laughs> there are not too many students from Cork actually in the university, which is probably just because of, of geography, really. Yes. What, um, what took you to Maynooth over maybe somewhere more local, Princess? Yeah, um, I mean, when I started off, uh, when I started start, um, doing my sale, I just wanted to new, new adventure, really a new lot, like new start. Um, so I just decided to get away from Cork, really. It's a nice place. I mean, it's a nice, um, small place, small town. So it's just a good fit for me. Great. OK, so the East Coast. And are you normally you live on campus? Presumably you're not obviously commuting from Cork. No, I'm not coming from Cork. Uh, thankfully, but um, I'm not on campus. Actually, I am in um, rented accommodation, so I just share a house with just a few other people. Okay, very good. So t take us back to when you were in Cork in school and the subjects that you were doing for your leaving search. Yes, um, I actually did all sciences, funnily enough. Okay. Um, it wasn't too bad. I just liked science. Honestly, I just liked science. I like anything to do with maths. Um, physics was my favorite subject. Uh, I think physics and maths, they were kind of connected actually a bit and um, they were my favorite in school um, I loved it I just loved it so no languages you're um, apart from your Irish and English obviously yes, and um, um, Irish and English and then we had to choose another language as well so I just cho chose French I wasn't a big fan of um, languages to be honest but it was enjoyable I guess so STEM is, is something very strong then for you clearly a big interest and did you know what area you wanted to specialize in or, or as in study once you left school yeah, so I mean, I, I was big on the engineering side of things just because I liked maths, I liked physics a lot. Um, so that was probably my main um, um, course that I wanted to do. But I did like science as well, like, you know, chemistry and the biology. So I did have like biomedical science as well, kind of just lined up. But it was more on the engineering side. I was kind of keen on that from the beginning. You, you joined Maynooth, but you didn't come in. I mean, you did your leaving cert, obviously, but you didn't get the grade that you needed, I believe. Yes. So to go into engineering in, I think, across many universities in Ireland, you actually need to get um, a certain grade. So a H4 in maths. Um, I absolutely didn't. I got a H5. So uh, I was a bit stuck when it came to, you know, universities to go to to study my preferred course. So what happened was I was, you know, searching online and um, I always had minute in the back of my mind. Um, and I just came across an advertisement online saying that, you know, you can do the math entrance exam regardless of what you got in um, school. So I applied, I went over, did the math exam. It wasn't actually that bad. Like it was quite doable. You know, if you had attempted the leaving cert, the higher level leaving cert, um, it was quite doable, very, very good grades. I got very good grades um, and I got accepted into the university. Okay, great. So you did the maths exam in August and then you were offered your place in engineering and you started out. So in first year then, um, you're in fourth year now, in first year, uh, how many how many girls started out with you? Because it's probably an unusual enough choice for... Yes. Um, um, it's quite male uh, dominated, but um, we started off with around four girls, so me included, um, out of about 24 people altogether. Um, okay. So a nice small class group and... Uh, that probably helped you or I mean did you know anyone else from Cork or anyone else in the university when you came up here? No fresh start nobody and knew no one but it was very very easy to make friends I think when you're in a small class it's quite easy to make friends because you know you're seeing the same people every day you know in like compared to like maybe if you're in a bigger um, class or if you're in a bigger hall it might be quite harder to make friends you know it's doable but it might, might be quite harder to to do to do that. But you settled in okay. Yeah. Did you find then the, the academic settling in? How did you find that transition from school work to college work? Yeah, it was quite different. You know, you go from secondary school where, you know, you're kind of forced to do the work, you know, your teacher's on you all the time, do this, do that, you know, to an environment where everything is, you know, your responsibility. You have to kind of take, take it on yourself to, you know, do your assignments, do this, do that. So it was quite a big difference. Um, well, but having friends around you, having people around you that, you know, you can go, you know, book rooms together and do things together. It was it actually helped a lot for that academic um, side of things, but it was, it was doable. I think if you have maybe friends, you know, you make friends, you know, first few days, you know, that you can and go study with and stuff like that I think it's it's definitely doable, definitely doable. so what about the maths component then I mean, you like maths you said but you know is it a big part of the course is it you know do you need to be strong in maths to do engineering yes I mean it is quite maths 
very matty if I put it like that um I don't like you don't have to be the best and the best at maths like I wasn't you know the best at maths but I enjoyed it I think if you hate maths maybe that's not the course for you because it is quite maths like maths dominated so you need to at least enjoy maths you know you don't have to be very 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 good at maths but at least have that you know enjoyment and like it a little bit anyway um there's a few people in my in my course that you know like they just don't like it at all like hated it maybe from the first year that you know unfortunately ended up dropping out so if you do just hate it you know I would just say maybe it's not the the course for you sure thing but if you do have a, a kind of a fondness for it and there is the support then from the math support center as exactly. well our math support center is very supportive and we have good lecturers that are very very approachable you know like i i always go i'm always chilling in the in the um the lecturer's office just having a chat even about anything you know so they're very approachable very nice they're basically like one of us you know so so what was the workload like and and what is the workload like now you know how many hours a week are you thinking do you have in class and and then to do outside of class as well yeah, I mean, um, it's full. It's a full time course, so you know you're in quite a bit. Um, you know, they 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 are very reasonable. They give us breaks, so the timetable is set up, you know, strategically. So you have breaks, and um, so it's not like you know six hours of just complete um lectures you know you have breaks in between that you can go take like you know eat your lunch you know studies talk to your friends and stuff like that maybe go over to the um the su the student union have a bit of a, a chill over there have some food you know so there is breaks um it's not too overloaded but um you need to be you know on top of your things you know taking those time taking some time out of your day to study you know afterwards you know you're finished every day maybe around five you know five six sometimes um like if you're finished around six you do have breaks in between obviously but maybe five you can you know go to the library and um, do some study do your assignments and stuff like that maybe book a room with your friends and and study in there so it is it's, it's, it's okay it's okay yeah what's been your favorite project so far is there anything that's really stood out for you yeah um so I'm I'm I love the coding side of um, engineering so um I think last year in uh, April we got to oh, so let me last year um, second semester we got to actually um me and my group we got to make an app so we were we had the um, responsibility of making an app, a community based app for um, the university. So it was actually really fun. We got to, um, you know, do some surveys, talk to a lot of people, get their, you know, in their input and apply to our app. So we had to uh, make an app for the students in the university so that when it like, let's say they want to um, see like if there's a football match going on, let's say they can go onto the app and, you know, go to the category called sports, check anything that's going on in the events um, and head over to it. So it was just um, a good app. It was really fun to do. I actually enjoyed it. My first time making an app. So it was good. Um, the teamwork side of things was a good. I actually got to lead the project. So I was mainly the project manager. So it was it was good. So what about uh, exams? Is there is it mostly continuous assessment or oh, how does yeah, that work? It's blended. It's actually a bit of both, which is good. You get to get the both side of things. Um, so I think obviously with COVID now, we have to do um, more assignments than, you know, class tests because, you know, um, but I think on a usual day, yeah, you have maybe some class tests here and there, some assignments. Um, and then obviously the mo most of the marks is going for the end of year assessment or end of year um, exam basically so it's a bit about you get to experience both sides yeah okay um, you are in your fourth year so say you're going to go on a work placement I think yeah so um, we get to do the six months placement so that's only if you are uh, willing to take the um, uh, five, five year integrated system so basically you can either do a five year integrated masters or you can graduate in your fourth year um, with, a you decide, with the bachelor with the bachelor of engineering exactly so um if you decide to do the masters you get to you get the opportunity in your second semester or fourth year to do a six months placement um in your choice of um company so you get to choose where you want to go and um, obviously within the you know electronic or engineering or software engineering kind of side of things um, and you get to go off and do your six months placement come back in September and start your master's so it's really good really good opportunity I'm actually excited to go off there in uh, March. 
So would you be, how did you organize that? Did you do that on your own or do you have any assistance? I have a lot of support, a lot of support. Um, I actually took it on myself that I wanted to get in myself, you know, outside of the university, uh, which you can as well. If you maybe have some links or if you have some connections, you can get it that way. You know, anyhow you want to get it, you can get the, the placement. But there is a lot of support. So we have a placement office that are, you know, ringing up our phones and really making sure that we're, you know, okay and we're, you know, on top of things, making sure that our CVs are up to date our LinkedIn and stuff like that so there's a lot of support they also send us links to Moodle and um, links so to some jobs they might have seen online um so there's a lot of support a lot of support there so where are you going to go um so I am studying in the Bank of America so it's the Irish branch in Dublin um so I'm going to be a global technology analyst starting from March so that's very exciting very exciting stuff yeah indeed uh, potentially a job at the end of it who knows if, if, yes, if you were to, to do well there but you're going to do the masters so yes. you, you've kind of committed now to your your fifth year yes yes I'm actually starting to think about my final year project which is going to be you know a lot of my degree so we're going to start off there in um, September so yeah excited <laughs> so coding is something you're clearly you love and um but, but it, what other opportunities are there or areas of interest could somebody maybe go into with the degree yeah so um, the best thing about engineering is that it's so broad. No matter what engineering you go into, you have a lot of options at the end. Um, so I am going into more of the coding side of things, software engineering side of things. And um, I actually got to do a module on strictly software engineering last year. So I got a taste into, you know, the software engineering world, um, to say. So that was actually really interested. I actually, you know, my interest, you know, like grew a lot from just doing that module. Um, but you can go into like stuff like telecommunications, uh, wireless data communications, go into you know um a lot of different things networking you can go into uh control systems a lot of different things and you let you get to do these modules or things that are you know to do like things that are related to these work like jobs in the course you know you get to be introduced to them and maybe if you do the placement you get to you know have experience there as well so it's really 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 good opportunity mm-hmm. so are you joining or are you involved in any societies in the engineering just when exist in the university yeah, so I um, I am um, in some uh, societies. I am in the African Society. I joined some sports as well at the start. I mean, in my first year, I was on the football because it was just really fun. You know, so all the all the boys in my class they used to go to football matches, and I just be you know left there. So I was like, you know what, I'm just gonna join and have some fun, really. And um, <laughs> basketball, you know, I don't know how to play basketball, but you know, it was really really fun just to you know be with my friends, play some. Uh, basketball or football and you know, make new friends as well I made a lot of friends just by doing that so I'm in a few societies there is so much you can go into the woman in STEM society the electronic engineering one I'm in that and um, that's really good as well you get to meet you know all a lot of different people in different years you know eat some pizza you know do a lot of things so it's really fun it's really fun great and they're cheap to join aren't they it's only a euro yeah. or two to join so, yeah exactly so, so get involved is the key message um great uh, final question any words of advice for, for somebody who's considering Manus? Um, all I'd say is that Manu is a family. That's what I would describe it as. Um, it's just such a small place, but it's such a nice community. It's so small that, you know, you meet, you bump into people here and there. So I would definitely recommend coming to Manu. And um, when you come, just, you know, have it on you to make some friends, you know, get involved um, get connected to people. Um, the lectures are all really nice. So don't, if you have a problem, ask questions because they are more than happy to answer your questions they're just such nice people honestly and um, I think other than that just join societies get involved we're really really excited to have you here honestly everyone's everyone's so friendly here so it's such a nice place that's great and of course as you say there is that maths exam in, in right. August as well if someone is considering engineering and maybe doesn't get the grade and they're leaving soon um very nice thanks very much that's very nice to talk to you today thank you